I'm glad all of you made it out here in the middle of this opioid crisis. <laughs> Can't go anywhere anymore without getting prescribed drugs legally. <laughs> By the medical professionals. With your health insurance you paid for. It's awful. I don't give a shit about opioids because they're trying to make it sound like addiction is new. Yeah. Yeah. People have been getting addicted for a long ass time. It just, wasn't, it just wasn't your grandmother. Well, I'm sorry, your grandmother had to OD because you never saw a requiem for a dream. <laughs> she got your shit together. I don't feel because I I know you didn't have one drug friend. If you'd had one drug friend, you'd have known what them pills was gonna do to you. I got friends. If I find a pill on the ground, it'll be like. Text me the numbers on the back. <laughs> <laughs> what are the numbers? <laughs> like five minutes later, after you hit, like, oh, that sh that'll fuck you up. <laughs> Don't take it with milk. <laughs> <laughs> Side note, my dad has a dog. <laughs> He's a boxer. The dog. In breed, not occupation. <laughs> a lot of stuff to clear up there. <laughs> I love boxers. They're very aptly named dog breed. They don't like it when you have stuff in your hands. They'll take their hands and go, you should hold these. And they knock shit out of your hands. <laughs> and they're obsessed with using their hands all the time. Dog breeds are named perfectly. I love it. Like sheep dogs look like sheep, work with sheep. Every St. Bernard I've ever met looks like a dude named Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> shit checks out. <laughs> Back to the opioids. <laughs> so my dad, he's dating one of these victims. <laughs> Not my mom. She's dead. I know it's cute when somebody dies in a relationship and the other person, like a week later, dies of sadness. <laughs> Not my dad. <laughs> he has some fucking to do. <laughs> Went out there, found himself one of them victims. <laughs> Brought her home, and she started taking all of his pills and everything like that. Eventually, it got so bad that she said, "If you leave the house, and they're going to give me more drugs. I'm going to kill myself." And so my dad said, "Well, I'm going to go get something to eat." <laughs> <laughs> he just walked right the fuck out. <laughs> and so she took all of his blood pressure medication, all of it, and then called the police and said, I'm gonna kill myself, heads up seven up. <laughs> <laughs> and then she stole one of his guns from out of his safe. It was locked up, but you can't hide anything from a drug addict. I don't know why we have heist movies with thieves. Just put them with drug addicts. You put three drug addicts, you don't need 11 people. Just one motherfucking drug addict will get through half your security. Just blow a baby powder on a fingerprint lock. Like, stole his gun, put it to her chest, and as she was getting ready to kill herself, in comes the boxer. Very jealous that she has that gun in her hand. <laughs> and I wish I didn't have this redneck life, but it do. <laughs> the dog slapped the gun out of her hand <laughs> as she was shooting herself. And so she shot herself in the leg. Can't believe, took all the blood pressure medication. <laughs> <laughs> so now she's sitting there with two holes that can't bleed. <laughs> Police on the way, and a dog that, frankly, I think has really earned the right to play. <laughs> and I, I want to feel bad for her, but all I keep thinking the entire time is, well, fuck, that is an emotional support dog. <laughs> if you had a dog that could slap the pills out of your hands, you tell me you got a dog that can disarm people. <laughs> yeah, you can bring that motherfucker on a plane. You can drop the, fill him up. Fill him up. I trust dogs more than cops. I want air buds, not air marshals. <laughs> Put little hats on them, too. They got to, like, mix in. You try taking over a plane with five Dobermans. Try it. <laughs> no box cutter getting you out of this one, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm done. My name's Sean Williams. Yeah. Yeah.